noblegoldinvestment.com, which is www.pastorpaulgold.com. That's www.pastorpaulgold.com. Chances are you've been here before. The chaos in the markets, the oil prices, the stocks, just when you thought it was safe and interest rates were started rising. Then new threats came out of nowhere. Tensions are boiling from Asia to Europe and the Middle East. And adaptation is the key here to safeguarding your wealth. You may not have considered gold before. It is a biblical currency. It's not speculation, but insurance. Noble Gold Investment at www.pastorpaulgold.com have been protecting investors from disasters for years with precious metals. So if you're worried, it might be time to take a fresh look at how to use gold and silver to your advantage. You see, gold is a proven safe haven. It's a shield to help you with your retirement funds, your portfolio, your 401k, and to help you in this insane uh, world we're in and to help balance against the uncertainties. If it helps, go to www.pastorpaulgold.com and know that they're going to give away this beautiful three ounces of pure silver, this coin right here, called the Silver American Virtue Coin for every person that sets up a new IRA this month. So if you open it up, they, uh, you roll over 401k or diversify some of your retirement funds, start an IRA, they'll give you this beautiful three ounces of pure silver called Silver American Virtue Coin. They'll give it to you for free. Just pick up the phone and call them tomorrow morning at 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. And tell them that Pastor Paul sent you there, okay? The individual operating a vehicle involved in a collision with an SUV within President Joe Biden's motorcade on Sunday evening has been arrested on charges of driving under the influence, as reported by authorities in Wilmington, Delaware. The incident resulted in damage to both vehicles and appeared to surprise the president as he departed from his campaign headquarters. Quote, Following our investigation, Wilmington police have determined that this was an accidental collision and have charged the driver of the striking vehicle, a 46-year-old Wilmington man, with driving a vehicle under the influence of alcohol and inattentive driving, Wilmington Police Department Communications Director David Carras said. The individual's name was not disclosed in the statement CNN reported. The U.S. Secret Service verified that as President Biden was entering his car, a vehicle in the motorcade was struck by another car. According to a statement from the Secret Service spokesperson, Steve Kopik, to CNN, there was, quote, no protective interest associated with this event, indicating that the collision was not intentional. The heavy rainfall in Wilmington at the same time may have contributed to the incident. The crash produced a loud noise on the street, prompting President Biden to observe the commotion. U.S. Secret Service agents surrounded the silver sedan responsible for the collision, instructing the male driver to raise his hands, as reported by pool reporters accompanying Biden, as reported by CNN. It's important to note that the affected SUV did not belong to the president. Secret Service personnel escorted President Biden to his vehicle, where First Lady Jill Biden was already present. The Bidens had been visiting the president's 2024 campaign headquarters, mingling with staff during a holiday happy hour. The visit marked the president's first time at the Wilmington office since staffers began working there over the summer. On Saturday, an Israeli military sniper fatally shot two women inside the Holy Family Parish in Gaza, as reported by the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem. The tragic incident occurred as the mother and daughter were en route to the Sisters Covenant with gunfire erupting during their journey. The Patriarch stated that one of the women lost her life while attempting to carry the other to safety. In the same attack at the complex, where the majority of Gaza's Christian families have sought refuge since the commencement of the war, seven additional individuals were also shot and injured. 
the Patriarch, responsible for overseeing Catholic churches across Cyprus, Jordan, Israel, Gaza, and the West Bank, provided these distressing details to CNN. Quote, no warning was given. No notification was provided, the statement continued. Quote, they were shot in cold blood inside the premises of the parish where there were no belligerents. On Sunday, Pope Francis expressed sorrow over the casualties at the Holy Family Parish, decrying the fact that, quote, unarmed civilians are targets for bombs and gunfire in Gaza. He invoked scripture pertaining to war to emphasize the gravity of the situation. Quote, I continue receiving very serious and sad news about Gaza. Unarmed civilians are targets for bombs and gunfire. And this has happened even within the parish complex of the Holy Family, where there are no terrorists, but families, children, people who are sick and have disabilities, sisters, he said. Canada is poised to announce this week that by the year 2035, all new cars must be zero-emission vehicles. This is according to a senior government source. This move reflects global trends as countries worldwide advocate for the electrification of vehicles. The forthcoming regulations, named the Electric Vehicle Availability Standard, aim to ensure a steady supply of electric vehicles in the Canadian market thereby reducing wait times. The provinces of British Columbia and Quebec already adhere to similar regulated sales targets, CTV News is reporting. The standard mandates that zero-emission vehicles, including battery electric, plug-in, and hydrogen models, constitute 20% of new car sales in the year 2026, 60% in 2030, and reach 100% in the year 2035, as disclosed by the anonymous source. Officials from Canada's Environment Ministry have refrained from providing comments during this time. 